call in the office saying if I'll take my shirt off, we'll raise more for the money bomb, or that if I'll shave my head, we would. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I'll shave my head if by tomorrow night we raise a million dollars. I will shave my head live on TV. But you know what? The type of people that actually give to this are people that don't care about silly, stupid things like that. I know it's fun and we're all joking around, but this is really life and death. Like, here's the equipment we bought from a video company today. $7,171. And uh, this is uh, daisy chains, whatever those are, some cameras they need, some lights. S-Video 4-pin male to 4-pin female cable. Panasonic AG DVX 100AB. I don't know what that is. Mountable zoom control. Light panels, light panels, Lowell case light, two fluorescent, Morris light stand. I mean, that's the kind of stuff, just because I don't have enough equipment to send with people around the country when they're doing all these interviews on chemtrails and New World Order and Obama and the police state and eugenics. I mean, I got, you guys are going, what, four places the next two weeks? We used to go like one or two, three trips a year because we didn't have the money. We're trying to gear up and just blow the money we've got on making more films, fighting the New World Order, not screwing around. You know, the money we raise tonight is a big part of resisting the New World Order, a big part of funding our operation, but it's not the complete part. Yeah, our little uh, source, one of our sources, and I got Harrelson's number and his assistant's number, but this is from people inside the movie. It's going, yeah, they kind of make Woody Harrelson, who plays uh, this character, Charlie Frost, crazy. Jackson and the kids walk back to the campgrounds when suddenly... Charlie Frost, 45, a crazy-looking guy with binoculars around his neck, stands in their way. I won't read anymore, so I'm asking for the whole script. And at, uh, Charlie Frost, what did the government guys tell you? Jackson looks at him, instinctively picking up Lily, because he's a dangerous, you know, conspiracy theorist. He thinks for himself. And it goes on. It says, uh, happened two months ago. He was one of my most avid listeners. Myers figured it all out. What's the governments are doing and where? He even sent me a map. They're building spaceships, man, says the crazy Alex Jones character. Well, Charlie, I think I got to go. It's an interesting thing here. That's a little secret script from the new 2012 film. Uh -huh. Probably some SWAT teams after us for this. Mm. Anyways, that's enough. Kind of stuff we have piled up around here. I don't have time to look at it. Uh, I want to go to your calls coming up in just a few minutes. We start the next hour. Where is it in my news? Path stations to run security screenings with body scanning technology. Now, just not the airports, but TSA is taking over. Malls, uh, bus stops, subways, all over the country it's happening. Uh, Homeland Security is keeping its promise. Where's my article about, uh, here it is, who swine flu pandemic has begun. It's first in 41 years. AP, they declared level six, and they said we've really been on it for a while and this means they can declare martial law and have forced inoculations if they want. And that's in the international law that we're under that I just covered earlier. And they go, oh, in the next 6 or 12 months, we will have a pandemic. It will kill masses. And we will have world government to save you. Just like the SPP documents for North American Union State that we cover in Endgame, they'll use a massive biological outbreak, financial collapse, or terror attacks to bring in the new world order. But it's okay. Don't worry about that. These eugenicists running world government, they just say you're going to die soon of the flu. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying these criminals will release something else and say that's what it is. Obama move would eliminate eight out of ten pocket knives. If this were to pass and you cross the state line with one, it's a felony. That's right. Little pocket knives, the feds, Homeland Security will tell you about that coming up. Folks, criminals are taking over. When somebody robs a bank, they want the people in the bank disarmed. The globalists are robbing the bank right now. We've got to resist them. Second hour coming up. Spread the word about the money bomb. It's going through to tomorrow. But I want to hit $250,000 by tomorrow morning. Help us do it. 888-201-2244. Operators are standing by right here in the office. 888-201-2244 or InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com.